Hi, I'm Alicia Murciano and I'm going to present the paper called Just Perception of Connectivity, Times and Uses. This paper presents the Connected Project, in which we study young people's digital identity by considering their hyperconnected enclaves based on their perception of time in digital leisure. Concretely, in this paper, we propose the following research objectives. First, to uncover young people's perception of temporal availability, use and habits of technologies and networks. And secondly, to consider in depth the different time management strategies reported. This research uses a qualitative design and it's a part of a participatory study with the aim of informing the design of quality educational interventions. To approach young people's perceptions, opinions, and motivations regarding their use of technology and habits, we use the discussion group Technics through a semi-structured peer script in five formative workshops with the cooperation of nine experts from various areas. The five research dimensions of the projects are digital profile, behavior and actions, settings, time management, time perception, and critical thinking. This study had 150 participants organized into 14 groups of people aged 16 to 18 and six groups of people aged from 12 to 15. There was diversity with regards to the profile of the young people. In the analysis of digital profiles, taking the settings and spaces where young people act and interact as the variable. It is apparent that social media networks and multimedia entertainment channels and platforms are the spaces where they are mainly present. It was found that younger respondents do more planned offline activities, such as sport or tasks relating to music. They say that these spaces fundamentally provide new learning an opportunity to relate with other adolescents of their age and entertainment. The other groups of participants say that they have free time except in school assessment periods. Although they do carry out offline activities, they state that they spend a large part of their free time on online activities. To examine time management, we focus on the extensive controls imposed by the respondents' families or schools self-regulation strategies and perception of time when online. The most widely used parental strategies relate to 12-15 groups, our organization of time and checking networks and apps they use on their smartphone and other devices. In the case of 16-18 groups, are taking devices away, away when they use them to exit or they do not comply with their responsibilities at school or at home. They concede in understanding the importance of organization of time as they state that they are not always able to control themselves and they lose the notion of how many hours they spend. But they do not agree to the same extent with their family checking their devices. When studying in depth the strategies proposed, we found that the strategies that they use most are setting themselves time for being online or looking for another tool and even hiding the device so that they don't have immediately access. The results obtained so far have allowed us to obtain a first assessment of the perception that young people have about the use of technological device and internet in the leisure time, the risks and potentiality that they entail. All of those key Factor will allow us to identify to what they feel and do when their leisure is mediated by the use of these technologies. This paper provides data of pedagogical interest that permits us to understand that young people's perceptions, opinions, and motivations regarding their use of technology and habits to design the basis of a pedagogical intervention that allow us to train. Really, thank you for your attention and for the conference. Please, if you have any doubt, contact with us.